In this video, I'm going to discuss a search facility that has been added to invoices, quotes, and the purchase order screen. It's very easy to use. If I just jump into an invoice screen right now. Okay, if you have a look down the bottom here, we have a box and a icon next to it called clear. Now, as per most screens, if we have a look at the top here, we can have the screen open up and show a range of entries between a certain date. So that allows you to see a particular search range. But if we have a look down the bottom here, this particular box here allows you to pinpoint a record within that search range. This box down here works in conjunction with this. So just be aware of that. Having a look here, it says that I'm showing entries from the 6th of July to the 31st of December. This has been set up in this training video for the financial year to work from the 1st of January to the 31st of December. So we'll have a look here and we see that for the first six months of this financial year, those records aren't showing. Now, if I do a search down here, I'm just going to show you this. Let's say I'm looking for invoice number 5013, right? We might have 100 invoices on the screen. So instead of scrolling down, trying to locate the invoice, I might just put in here and I'm just going to go, 13 which is 13 so it's 5013 so it's going to pick up any entry any invoice with an invoice number of 13 in it if i press type 13 in there then press enter it's a different search mechanism than some of the other searches within this within the software this particular tool on this screen you have to press enter after you've entered what it is you're looking for so i've typed in 13 i press enter it's now going to show me any invoices on that screen that contain the number 13 in it. Let me just clear that for a second. I want to show you something. I'm going to turn this off and it's going to bring up all the invoices in the first six months of the year. Now, invoice number two, I'm going to turn this back on. I'm going to show you. It won't find invoice number two because I'm only seeing entries for the second half of the year. So if I try to find invoice number two, it's found all entries with the number two in it, okay? but it won't find invoice number two because that is before this period. It works in conjunction with that, so be aware of that. If you're looking for something and it's missing, consider that maybe it's outside of the range you've set. Now, why are you using these ranges? Typically, I use them once I've gone through particular months, all those invoices have been settled. I don't need to see them on the screen each time. So I then adjust my date here, and because the system remembers it with this switched on, I then only see the information on the screen that I'm, want, I'm wanting to look at. So just be aware, if you're looking for something and if it's not there, check to see if this date has been switched on. This particular box here works with this column and this column. If I'm looking for entries with for Mr. Smith, I can type in Smith and it's going to find any entries that contain the word Smith. Now you see I've got a lot of dummy entries here on testing stuff. So if I look for anything with the letters AS in it. Let's get brought up anything with the letters AS. So you can see that's a lot of junk stuff there I'm, I was doing. Okay, I think this is pretty self explanatory. It's a great little tool. Clear clears it all out. Takes it back to whatever that is up there. You can obviously you don't have to press clear if you're mucking around. You just press all. All does the same thing anyway. Just be aware of that. Another thing Easy Ads have done is they've resolved an issue with how the screen reverts back. So if I have a look at this here and I go any entries with the word AS and I click here to have a look at this particular invoice, I've checked out this invoice and I've exited it, it's going to retain to the screen what your previous search was. It's not going to bring all the entries back. It used to do that before. They've solved that now and they've only bringing back what your last search was. So now if you want to see all the entries, you just got to click all. And as you look down the bottom of the quote screen, it's exactly the same. So it looks the same on the quote screen, the purchase order screen, and the invoice screen. 